Main Roads WA have set up a detour at Beach Street in Fremantle as part of the project to build a new traffic bridge across the Swan River. This video is going to examine the effectiveness of the signage for cyclists trying to use the detour. The detour is going to be in place from April to August 2024 and it's one of several in the area related to this project. Here's the map that Main Roads provides showing the road closures and detour. We're only going to cover the detour going east to west, as shown in this map. Typically, there are two destinations for cyclists riding from the east. One is to continue on into the heart of Fremantle to get a coffee, and the other is to cross the bridge and head north towards Perth. Now, for the next four minutes, I'm just going to talk through riding through this detour twice. And so here we are approaching from the east. And as you can see, there's a fair bit of signage, including one that says cyclists in lane. So what does that mean? Well, the cycle path is blocked, but where are cyclists supposed to go? Now there's all these signs saying detour off to the left, but there's nothing cycling specific. And just remember, I hadn't looked at the map before I went here. I just found it, I just blundered into this uh, riding down here. Now I'm riding along here looking for anything which is cycling specific to tell me where to go. Because I was wondering when I got down to the end here, could I go on the path around the, uh, the river? Or was I going to be diverted somewhere else? And I'm looking, 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 and I can see all this kind of big yellow signage out on the road and lots of cones, and that's where I'm focusing. And I don't know if you've noticed it, but I've actually ridden past a number of uh, cycling detour signs, but I didn't see them at all on this time through. It's kind of mesmerized by all the other signage. And I rode up to the end here just to have a look at whether there was some way I could get through. And no, they've really put up a fairly serious fence that goes all the way from the water up the hill. Because I was wondering at this point, well, would they build a path up the hill there, for instance? And no, the fence actually goes all the way up. And in case you're wondering about getting around uh, the, the riverside, nope, they've closed that off well because there's demolitions. They haven't closed the cafe. You can still go there if you want. And there's some bike racks there, you know, for easy parking, etc. Um, but let's go back and have another ride through. And this time I'm having a really, really close look for cycling specific signage. And I couldn't see any along here, but I thought let's just jump up on this island and stop and have a closer look. Now, over on the right, towards those cranes, I finally spotted a yellow sign uh, up a pole, which was pointing me that way. And in front of that follow detour um, variable message sign, there's actually another cycling specific sign. Uh, it's side on, and it's obviously for people who uh, have come along the path, for instance, from the other direction. There we go, we've just gone past it. Um, and you wouldn't see that as you're riding along the road. So uh, I got up on the path as recommended, and it says, yep, yeah, follow the detour. Okay, uh, where exactly are we going? Why am I on the path? I mean, this is not a really great place for cyclists to be riding. I'd rather be out on the road and then jump onto the detour. Um, especially if you're on something like a tandem. I mean, you've got to remember there's all sorts of bikes being used in the area. And then I figured, well, I'm probably supposed to be using that path there up on the hillside. It's now just a matter of how on earth do I get to it? Because I couldn't see any signage along here telling me exactly where to go. But once I got past this cafe and under this tree, suddenly, oh, there, there we go. There's a couple of signs up poles here at the, uh, the toilets telling you uh, PSP detour follow. And then, yes, that's the sign we've been looking for to take us on the path up the hill. Now, it's a, it's a very easy gradient. Um, this is a, a good route to take for people who are not confident road cyclists. But if I was going to do this again, I would not bother with this. I would just follow the cars um, up that hill. I'll just ride on the road. And then when I get to the top of the hill, um, turn right where this cyclist has uh, come from and ride along the path. Now, that would probably mean coming up the hill and uh, taking the lane, um, but you know, so be it. Anyway, you go around this bus stop, as you can see, the path is really quite narrow. And if you wanna go and have a look at this artwork, well, you can duck off here and uh, go underneath it and have a look if you wanna. And then when we get up to the end here, uh, yeah, there's a plethora of signs, uh, you know, telling you where to go from here. So the detour itself is fine, but these signs, uh, first time round, very difficult to see. 
So next time I'm riding down this way, I'm actually going to follow this detour that the drivers are following. I'm not going to bother going straight ahead. I'm going to turn left up E Street, ride up the road. When I get to the top, I'm going to turn right, get on the footpath and go to the lights that way. I just found it too difficult to find or to spot these signs against the background. They're not bad signs. They're just really small and some of them are not well placed. It's very easy to miss. So if you've ridden through here or you're going to go down there and have a look, um, let me know in the comments what you think of the signage for this detour.